Welcome to Tech Brothers Examiner. In this video, we are going to learn about Checkpoint in PySparkle. Checkpoint creates a saved copy of a data frame or RDD by writing it to the reliable storage such as the Databrick file system or Hadoop file system. Now, this cuts off Spark's lineage. That means the record of all the transformation leading to the current data and uh, this uh, helps uh, because uh, improved performance uh, avoid recomputing all transformations uh, and adding uh, fault tolerance uh, easy to recover from the failures. Uh, commonly used uh, scenarios are long or complex uh, data pipelines, uh, iterative algorithms, machine learning or graph uh, processing. Uh, now here uh, we are uh, defining a directory in which we would like to write our uh, data frame uh, and uh, here is a temp checkpoint. So, so you will be providing uh, some, uh, some type of uh, directory. Here uh, by, we are doing by set checkpoint directory. Okay, now here is my data, that's sample data ID, name and age. Uh, and here these are the columns for this uh, sample data. Here we are creating the data frame uh, DF. Uh, and then uh, we are applying some uh, transformations. In this case, uh, we are filtering the data and we are saying that DF for uh, age, uh, the age column uh, should have the value greater than 28. So any records of which are greater than 28 for the age, those will be filtered. And that's the new data frame we'll be creating. Now here I'm just providing only one transformation that's a filter. Maybe we also use group by or maybe order by and all different other transformation. Now in uh, uh, after you have that, uh, what's gonna, you're gonna do, then you're gonna checkpoint the filter data frame. So here is our data frame and uh, I'm uh, uh, creating a data frame here df checkpoint and uh, telling it df filter dot checkpoint eager equal to true. So apply checkpoint to save the current state and cut the lineage. So think about that here I only applied filter but if I would have applied group by order by and other transformations and uh, now if I have to calculate this value here every or maybe where this value results every time here what I have to do, it has to calculate all those uh, uh, values uh, and apply those uh, transformations. Uh, but as I'm cutting off the lineage here, I am saving the current state. So whatever uh, transformation has been applied on this uh, DF filter, now I'm checking uh, um, by uh, now I'm checking to the uh, disk uh, by using the checkpoint. So this will be saved there. And now when I run the query again, uh, it's not going to go and apply all those transformation. It's going to go to the DF checkpoint. That's uh, already in the storage. And from there, we will uh, take that and apply any anything we, would, we want to do. So it saves us the time. And in the complex uh, scenarios uh, where the issues can happen, maybe it's learning for a long time. Uh, and uh, then if you rerun every time, uh, recomputing uh, take a, a long time and uh, also uh, you know it's a costly process now here uh, once uh, it is a checkpoint is uh, ha had happened now we will say results let's say in this case so we are saying df uh, underscore checkpoint dot group by i'm applying a group by on name and uh, taking the average on the age and then i'm showing the results so, so this is how it is going to work if i execute this one um, you will not see a uh, really a difference here because i have only uh, these uh, uh, four records here and uh, you know I'm not uh, having a lot of uh, um, transformations here so it applied the transformation and then uh, it uh, did the it would use the checkpoint and it wrote to the disk and then uh, we are using that uh, data in here for the result data frame and then applying a group by so you can see the results here as well so this is what it created but in large set of data you will see the difference, uh, you know, because if I have to rerun whole thing, if let's say if I'm going to rerun this entire thing again, and there were there was a lot of transformation, and this then it's going to calculate all of them again, and then uh, I could have apply any other further transformation. But uh, now I can uh, after checkpoint, I can always go ahead and apply whatever I want on this. Uh, uh, till here I'm good so it's kind of think about it so you're staging uh, data uh, you have prepared it you have applied all the transformation then you have staged it somewhere and then you are applying further uh, analysis on it whenever you need it and it will help you to save some time instead of you rerun every time you run the process it to run, rerun the entire process again and again and, but uh, in this case uh, you have staged that uh, data to the disk and the using from there. I will put this script in the uh, description so you can use it. I thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video.